hey guys welcome to this video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to dockerize a django application so basically what i mean is that i'm going to be showing you how to use docker to run your django app so the first thing you want to do is to make sure that you have django installed and you have docker installed on your computer so if you don't have that installed let's quickly go over to Chrome and just search download docker and then once you search download docker it's just gonna like download for whatever you are on maybe on a windows or on a mac or wherever you are and then once you have that installed the next thing that you want to do is to make sure you have django installed so let's quickly open up our terminal so now what we just need to do to make sure we have django installed is to just type django admin they should give me a response this means that i have django installed so if you don't have it installed just type p3 install django and once you have all that taken care of the next thing you want to make sure is that you have pip installed obviously you should have pip installed before even trying to install django and for you to have pip installed you need to have python installed so basically you need to have python pip django and docker installed so once you have all this installed the next thing that we want to do is to just start a new Django project. So let me just say ls. Let's move into document. And let's move into project. So in here, I'm going to create a new folder. I'll say make directory and I'll name it Django Docker, something like that. So in here, let me go into Django Docker. So go in here real quick so django docker and then in here what i want to do now is to create a new django application named django docker so i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to say django admin that project django docker so now if i press ls i'll see that i have django docker i'm going to go in there now i see that i have manage.py file now let me just make sure that this is running successfully. I'm gonna say Python free manage.py run server. So now you can see that it says it is running successfully on this particular local port. So if I come in here and paste that, you can see that everything has been installed successfully. So first of all, you need to make sure that you have your particular project running normally without Docker before trying to use Docker to no, run it so now that we know we have this let's just come into visual studio code and then let me go ahead and open up that folder in vs code let me say django docker so right here i'm just going to open this up and now that i have this what i want to do is to first of all create a requirement.txt file i'm going to come back to my terminal real quick opt out of the server and what i'm going to do is to say pip now say l greater than requirement dot txt so this is going to create a new requirement dot txt file so we since i'm on a mac i need to use pip3 for whatever i'm doing so i have to add pip3 but if you're on your windows you don't need to do that so now this is done if i press ls i should see a new file name requirements dot txt okay that wasn't spelled right but now basically it contains all the files so we can just rename this to requirements.txt so what is in here is that it contains the libraries and packages that we use in this particular project so if you install a new let's say you install a new library on this your computer and then you run this particular command again it's going to update this file and add that particular new library so normally it's always advisable to use a virtual environment so that you know when you do requirement.txt file it doesn't just take all the old package on your laptop and just put it in this file so if you have a virtual environment for each project then when you run this requirement.txt file it just takes only the libraries that are used in that particular project and put it so it's very very advisable but for this project we don't need to do that because that's not the aim of this video now that we have this requirements.txt 
the next thing that we are supposed to do is just to go ahead and create some docker files so right here in the root directory of my project i'm going to create a new file and i name it dot docker ignore i'm going to leave that blank for now i'm going to come back and tell you what it does the next thing i want to do is to create a file named docker file in the root directory also i'll say docker file so first of all this dot docker ignore what it does is just think about it as like dot git ignore if you're familiar with git and github so the git ignore allows you to like exclude some files when you are pushing to your repository same with the docker ignore it allows you to like exclude some files when you are creating your docker image or whatever you're doing so if you want to exclude any file we're going to put in here but for this tutorial i don't think we're going to exclude any file so we can just leave that blank and let's come back to the docker file so right here in the docker file is basically going to contain all the command that's going to be used to build our docker image so what we're just going to do is to say from python 3.10 that's the version i have installed on my computer so i have python version 3.10 it doesn't really matter the version you put you can just put python 3 that will also work then we can say env as you can see right here it already suggests the kind of syntax which you could use if i say env you can see it says key equals value so this key let's give it like python and buffer that's just like the default thing everybody uses so we can just use that also and then we can give you a value of one and then we can create a work directory let's name it code so this basically is the directory in which you know this our docker a particular docker image is going to be like working in so when we want to put some files in it all the files we are going to be copying are going to be going into this particular code you know directory so now we need to copy requirement dot txt. So now we are copying requirement dot txt. Then it's, that means it's going to go into this code directory, and then let's run. Since we have that file now, we can run pip install our requirement dot txt. So now it's going to install all the libraries inside recommend.txt file next thing we want to do is to just say copy the and then the next thing we want to do is say expose 8000 now this 8000 is just telling django that this is the particular port that we're going to be using but it's telling docker not django docker that this is the port we're going to be using so now let's do cmd and now basically we're just gonna tell docker the command to run for you to run our application the manage.py run server server then we can we can leave it like this and when we say python manage.py run server it's just gonna run it like locally on one two seven zero zero one port eight thousand and then right here i have to save python 3 but if you're on a windows you don't need to so right here we can specify so what we can do we can let's just leave it like this and let's save it so now that we have this this is basically the most important part but the next thing we want to also add is to create one more file the root directory and we're going to name it docker compose.yml and in here we're gonna have version save go image 
or let's say Django Docker. My zero point one, and then build basically, and then the ports. thousand like this and we're gonna save it so now that we have all these files basically done what we just need to do first of all let's make sure everything is correct we have this in docker compose we have the requirement.txt docker file done we have the docker ignore we don't really need to put anything in there now let's just go into our terminal and we can open up a new terminal right here so it can open it up in this particular directory and we can say docker compose up build so as you can see it's basically building it for us let's just put it here. that was very quick and it already has it running on this host so the default django host so as you can see we didn't we don't need to like run the python commands or whatever i want to do over and over again in this docker file we can just specify basically everything we need to do in the commands if you want to migrate we can do it here you know we're working with database and stuff and then we can just run the docker command and it's going to do everything for us now that we have this let's just copy this copy it and then let's open it in here so as you can see everything is working perfectly now we're able to dockerize our django project now this is just a basic step in doing this you can also do some more complex things like adding your postgres database and some other things you might want to do with it but this is like the concept of how you can go through using docker with your django application now i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one